Hi guys, welcome back to a Xenoblade video. Today I'm actually gonna be talking about how you can, you know, level up efficiently some certain training spots and yeah. So first of is actually just doing as many quests as you can. Uh, you know, just finish all the quests, unlock unlock all the dev areas to okay. Yeah, if you unlock all the dev areas to five star then you'll unlock like all the quests basically and after you finish your quest all you do is just go to an inn and you rest so i finished most of the quests in the game except for the blade ones so you just go to an inn here and then just do whatever rest any inn is fine and then yeah you, i mean yeah i have like so much bonus xp here from from just quests alone so you know i'm just gonna level up rex and well, just everybody. Okay. Yeah, the inn is a really good way to level up. Um, some other things you can do besides doing quests is discovering landmarks, uh, secret areas, uh, doing merc missions. Uh, but yeah, most of it just comes from quests, honestly. And uh, yeah, you should be good from there. Um, aside from quests, after you've, well, finished most of the quests, you're probably wondering, well, what else can I do for XP? And that is a good question. So, for those of you who just feel like grinding and don't really feel like doing quests, there's a couple spots to go to. You're gonna want to go to, I believe it's Lito Oasis, if I'm correct here. Um... Ch -ch -ch. So by the end of the game, you should be around level 70 by the time you beat the final boss. And let's see here, I am... This is not a lot of oasis. Okay, sorry guys, this is the wrong place. <laughs> My bad. It's another, it's another lake place. Is it... Um... Yeah, it's this one. It's Senna's Deadpool. Sorry about that. Okay, so you're gonna wanna turn around. And then you're gonna wanna make your way to this area over here. So, yeah, it's gonna be northwest of your spot. So yeah, you can see some level 70s here, which, you know, you can fight and get some XP. Um, there's gonna there's gonna be a unique monster here that you can fight. Um, there's some 70 bats here. Yeah, so this area right here is a pretty good area for training around level 70-ish. Just to, if you want to keep it safe. And then once you train up... Once you train... So maybe around 75, you could probably go to Empire of Moradain. And you'll want to go to lower level and teleport to the dock. You can probably do Chansang Wastes as soon as level 75 or so. So you want to head straight. And if... If you don't have the key to unlock this door, it's in uh, the Thief Wastes or whatever you call it. Yeah, Thief of Forgetfulness. And if you guys don't know how to get there, it there's another guide on that. Just search it up on Google or something. Um, but yeah, if you should get the key and then you head over here. And there should be a level 80 bird flying around as well. Yeah, level 84 Tempest. Um... Yeah, this guy isn't actually too hard. Uh, the levels may look scary, but this guy's actually not too bad. Even at around level 70 or so, you should be able to take it down. But these guys do aggro you, so do be careful.
Oh man, I got blue down. Yeah, so the monsters around here are like around level 80 or so. So it's a good place to train when you're around level 80. Yeah, so you get, well right now I'm getting 1k XP because I'm level 88, but you should be getting a lot more if you're lower level. And yeah, that's level 80 training spot. And I have one more spot that I discovered. Kingdom of, so you want to teleport to Kingdom of Araya? So this is really risky if you're a lower level, okay? Even this is risky for me. Well, actually... Not too bad because I'm level 88 right now, but you probably be want to be around level 85 or so before you attempt this. Um, so you want to ignore that. You want to walk behind, so be careful that you don't get aggroed. What you want to do is you want to take uh, these level 95 guys one at a time, starting with this guy right here. So you just lure him in because he'll be walking around. So you want to take this guy out first. Yeah, so this guy hits pretty dang hard. So I'm probably gonna might die here with his ripple drive. Yeah, he hits really hard. So before coming here, you'll probably want to fill your party gauge just so you know you can revive in case you do die. But these guys actually don't have too much XP and they're not too difficult, and they actually give quite a bit of XP. Okay, can I get a topple? Alright, nice. Oh wait. Oh okay, whoops. I thought uh I thought I had a blade combo ready. Apparently not. Oh, there's another guy walking too. Okay, I forgot about that guy. I don't know why he didn't see me. So yeah, there's about there's two guys walking around. So you want to be careful, cause I I'm not sure if I can actually take two. I'll probably die. So you probably want to lure them away from each other. Yeah, so you're gonna get like around 9k XP or so, which is pretty good. And yeah, I think that's it for the training spot. Um, I think I might missed some, but these are my training spots, and I hope you found this video helpful. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask, and happy xenoblading!